And this is a, a poem, which is a memoir told the poems from the ages of 15 to 37. So like um, this album, this book is in sections, uh, teenage love, 21 and older, and 30 something. And so it's my journey uh, primarily over my life, but really a culmination of the last year. Um, last October, I was diagnosed with rheumatoid arthritis. And I don't know if anyone of you know, knows what that is, but it's when you, um, your immune system sort of turns on itself. And it, yeah, I'll leave it at that. Um, and so I found myself not being able to use my hands. And as a writer, that sort of is a, an eye opener. And so I just wanted to um, pin this book and just, you know, offer this um, back to God and a gift that he gave me. So, um, we all have a relationship I'm sure we'd like to forget. I had a situation where uh, an ex boyfriend invited me to Thanksgiving dinner. Pre Thanksgiving dinner, we had an argument and I wasn't sure if I was going to go. But this is how Thanksgiving with an ex and appropriately so. One, you invited me to Thanksgiving dinner. Little did I know that I would be the turkey. <laughs> Two, you set me up on a timetable, displayed all my vulnerable sides for inhumane consumption after plucking my feathers. Three, then carved me and served me to all who attended this exhibition of thankfulness. Four, no one touched my right knee. Five, my remains you discarded quickly without much thought of memory for next year. Six, Little did you know that I was grateful for your gobble, gobbling me up. You were full of yourself. Seven, at least now my spirit can fly free with the wing that was left unbroken. Eight, lucky for me I held on to my own guts. Nine, I am grateful. Ten, thanks you. what may come. Last night I made love to words that reminded me we already had. Haiku for poetry. Ink is to words as friends are bound to their lovers. I to poetry. So I guess what's most relevant is uh, the 30 something stuff. So I'm going to go there. Mission statement. Now, I'm not Jewish, but um, the word Bashir um, in the Hebrew culture means that you're intended one. So this is mission statement for me and my Bashir. I will be the kind of wife that my husband talks about in honor and celebration of when I'm not in the room. Will be the kind of wife that stands across that same room who honors and celebrates her husband with one over-the-shoulder glance that what is unspoken between us becomes our mantra, our soliloquy, our dialogue to our monologue, our opus, our purpose, to do what ribs and rib cages do, come together as one and stay that way. Haiku for those still hiding. In the dark, we all seem very comfortable. Let's turn on the lights. Haiku for winter. Your skin is a spread over me like a blanket, warms me like we do. Kissing haiku. Our lips move to kiss while we exchange foreign tongues. No need to translate. So someone um, asked me about a year ago, uh, why aren't you married? And he gave all these reasons. And, uh, you're this, 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 and that, and why aren't you married? And this was my answer, question and answer. Question, why aren't you married? Answer, I haven't met anyone who has inspired me to give them my forever. High proof for Eve. Men aren't all the same, but have one thing in common. They're missing a rib. Haiku for Adam. <laughs> Women aren't the same, but have one thing in common. They're the missing rib. Uh, 